Hello, welcome back uh, to the Ocean Modifier Tutorial Part 2. Part 2, we're going to be adding in the foam onto the waves. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. You want to make sure that your ocean mesh is selected. So go ahead and right click it. And then go, once you have that selected, to the modifier, the little wrench. And that'll give us our settings for that. Just wanted to talk about some stuff real quick down here. Smallest wave, basically it's the minimum limit for the size of the generated waves. We have it at 0 .01. If you want to mess with that you can. Adjust it, see what happens. And then underneath that is wind velocity. And that is the wind speed in meters per second. So obviously the higher the number, the higher the speed, more turbulent waves. All right. So we're going to go down to where it says generate foam and we are going to check generate foam. Under coverage, you want to make sure that it is at 0. Okay. And then under the ending frame here, Right now it's at 250. We're going to change it to 1. And under the cache path, this is basically where data is stored um, when, when we bake our ocean. Okay, So rather than simulating the ocean data line, the ocean data can be baked to a disk. So we're going to store it in our Blender folder. Okay, And the advantage to this is that it's faster to, to use stored data rather than to keep recalculating it. So what we're going to do if you're in my class is click on this folder here and it's gonna store it in the temporary files on the computer on the C drive. Well, we don't want that. Okay. So you need to go to the 506, go to your period, your folder, and your blender folder. Click new directory and let's name it ocean and I've got my cap lock on so I gotta take that off there we go and you want to double click on that folder so that you're in there click accept and then go ahead and click bake ocean there okay and you'll be good Alright, next thing you want to do, this right here is our viewport. So go ahead and position your cursor there. Go ahead and left click. And then press in, like no, on the computer. And that'll bring up this little box right here. We want to go to the display tab. So under display, go ahead and click on the triangle, open it up and we want to check under where the box it says textured solid and when we do that you'll notice that the waves turn black and white so the mesh will turn black and white but the foam mark areas will be um, apparent because they are white so that white area on the wave peaks that is going to be our foam so we're going to texture that. I'm going to hit in again like no. Take that off. So we're going to go to textures. So click on textures. And we are going to name the texture foam mask. And then under the type, we're going to select ocean. Under modifier object, you want to select the cube because that is what we used for our ocean. And then under output, we're going to select foam. And when you do that, you'll see your preview of your waves, what it looks like. Next, under mapping here, under coordinates, you're going to select UV. And then down here under influence, 
you want to make sure that color is selected leave it at one and right here where it's pink you're gonna left click there go to hexadecimal and we're gonna change it to a pure white color so type in F six times and that'll give you the color white and that will be the color of our phone we're gonna go ahead and go back to the object modifier so click on the wrench logo and you want to click free bake here and we need to change the ending frame here to 250 and let's go ahead and click bake ocean and once it's done doing that I want you to hit zero and go ahead and look through your camera there and then hit F12. F12 on the top of your keyboard will render out what you've done here. And it'll take a second to kind of come up. And you should see your ocean and your waves and all that. And when it comes up, you should be able to see your foam as well as the color of your ocean. And you should see some nice texture. Okay, and basically at this point you want to get my attention so I can come over and check your work. The next step, if we have time, would be to click on the render button and animate it. I tried this at home and it took a long time to render. So if you are in my class, just make sure that you have gotten my attention at this point and you've gotten credit for this assignment. Uh, depending on the amount of time I will let you know if we'll render or not. Um, probably not though. Once you get to this point you will be done. Okay. And once you have that do Alt A and you can check out your animation and basically you are finished learning how to use the ocean modifier.